Hey everyone, um, I'm here with a kind of an unusual box unboxing uh, because this was something I wasn't uh, expecting um, originally. Uh, like, oh, let me get started. I was like getting myself a uh, breakfast, and um, I come back home, and all of a sudden I see this rather large box that came from Orlando, Florida, and I wasn't expecting any package from Florida whatsoever. In fact, um, I didn't even. I wasn't like I was the only thing I was expecting was uh, parts for an N64 uh, joystick which were uh, kind of canceled for whatever reason because the guy was like out of stock even though he said he had it but anyways then I realized hold on this might be that Kickstarter for uh, the Resident Evil uh, board game and so I think this is what it is after several delays I was originally supposed to get this in back in like December but it was like delayed because of like a tsunami or something like that in uh, around the China seas and then like uh, we were supposed to get around January but got delayed but finally like I got like an update saying that it was being shipped to me like yesterday and um, you know what let's just unbox this I, I'm, I'm really excited to see that I need lighting Yeah, I wish my place was a uh, much better, but a mess, but let's get this open in. All right, like uh, the boxing um, could have been better, but as long as it's packaged well on the inside, that's all. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here it is. The Resident Evil 2 Board Game Survivor Pledge Kickstarter Exclusive Alternative Sculpt. Wow. Oh, boy. So... What I got with the Kickstarter, I put in for the board game plus the B file expansion pack and the Kickstarter exclusive and the stretch goals. And I also put in the sketch, the exclusive for the Force Survivor expansion. And I, as much as I wanted to go for the alligate, here it is, uh, Force Survivor expansion, which of course is hunk. And I got the survival horror expansion and I got the B expansion files which of course is scenario B and we come to the main event the Resident Evil 2 board game yes all right so let's put this box away and um, let's look at what we have yeah I showed you it but I got five things in total, and I wanted to go for the whole kit and caboodle, but unfortunately, there was like the amount was for all like uh, the exclusive stuff were so expensive, especially in British pounds, that I didn't even bother. I thought ninety dollars was enough, and that's what I paid for all of this for the contribution for the Kickstarter pledge. And they emailed me so many times to make sure if I want anything else, and. I was like, nope, just this, because unless they were going to lower the price on these, which I'm hoping they do, like, here's the thing, we got the potential board game, the survival horror expansion, the B-Files expansion, the survive, the alternative sculpts, which I'm assuming they're the stretch goals or something like that, and the four survivor uh, expansion. And I wanted to go for the alligator thing, but... That was like much more than this. So in total, like I paid about 70 pounds, British pounds, but in total it's like $94 that I pledged for this. And I thought that was enough. But if I had a lot more money then when I pledged it, I would have put more into it to get more expansions. But I'm hoping that they'll have more in stock and I'll be able to get those exclusives at a lower price. But... Who knows? So, in due time, I'm going to uh, do a more thorough uh, review of this of this since I just got it, and today's the February 12th that I received this in the mail, and I just got it this morning, so I wasn't expecting this, so I just had to record a video of my reaction. So, and this is a real really nice quality for board games and such. And ooh, these are with the sculpt in. I'm actually kind of disappointed that they don't color these. But, I'll take what I can get. I'm not too picky, but... Okay, so this is what you get for the survive, the Force Survivor expansion. You get Hunk as well as Tofu uh, Sculptors. And with this, I don't know what it comes with. 
and with the survival horror expansion you get like it is oh i think you get like the exclusive the stretch goals and such that's really cool and of course the board game which is the heaviest box out of all of these which includes the main event and then some more like my only issue with is like the shrink wrap is open a bit but yeah in due time i'm gonna do a full uh review of this eventually so until then i'm gonna do like more of like let's plays for the resident Evil 2 remake and i gotta get to do more i gotta get to do more stuff but i gotta get going because i have a interview in a couple of hours but i will catch you all later thank you for joining me